Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Alcaraz versus Hachinov in the quarterfinals of Hamburg. Um, match is just about to start. Hachinov serving first. Goes just wide in the first serve. Sup, David. Hello, King of Just. How are you doing? Double fault to start the match for Hachinov. Not the best start. Not the best start. Fifteen oh. Sorry about my lighting, guys. Um, get a bit of the ring light on soon, but uh, for now you just can't see me. So. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Nice volley from Hatchin off the backhand pass from Alcaraz. And it's 15.30, opening service game. Let's see. Um... There we go. There's the light. 
I I had it uh, muted, so I was talking to someone. Now it's now it's on, I presume. So. Now there's two break points for Alcaraz. Two break points for Carlos Alcaraz to start this first set. Alcaraz backhand, hatching off forehand. Alcaraz backhand, the hatching off backhand. Alcaraz backhand, hatching off forehand. Forehand of Alcaraz, which is long. One break point saved by Hatchinov. You've got um, the famous umpire, the blonde ponytail. I don't remember his name. Her name. Um, she did. <laughs> she was part of the um, tennis TV bro moment back in the day, Toronto last year. <laughs> She's the umpire that made that call. <laughs> backhand from Alcaraz. The backhand of Hachinov. Backhand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov to the forehand of Alcaraz. Which is a winner! Wow! What a start to the match for Carlos Alcaraz. He goes one love up. He breaks the opening game of this first set. Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos. Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. A quick start for the Spaniard. One love up in his many games. Immediately breaks the Hachinov serve. Mayor saying he likes the Hachinov forehand swing. He has a semi western. Good morning, David. We can't see anyone on the chat, so hello, folks. Why? Which what what device are you on? Or maybe you're driving. I don't know. Oh. Uh -huh. The drop shot wasn't good from Alcaraz. Hachinov got there, even even though it was off the net. Alcaraz still wins the point. Forehand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov to the forehand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov. Backhand of Alcaraz. The backhand of Hachinov. Which is a winner. Wait. I'm getting confused. Wait, because they're wearing the same kit. They're wearing the same kit. Uh, I'm getting, I was getting confused because they're wearing the same thing. Uh, <laughs> they're wearing the same shirt. What can I say? Both sponsored by Nike. <laughs> I thought Hatchinov just hit that backhand. <laughs> <laughs> they really love Alcaraz. Hachinov backhand, the backhand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov. Forehand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov to the backhand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov. Alcaraz gets there. Oh, he almost got the reaction volley. But he couldn't quite make it. 30 15. They're wearing the same outfit. I'm sure, there's like rules against this. You can't wear the same outfit on court. It's like if I was playing FIFA, I wouldn't have um, the same color kit for both sides. Or if it's any, how is this allowed in tennis? <laughs> That's my question. Backhand of Hachinov to the forehand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov is long. 40-15. Literally. There's other Nike tennis kits. I'm sure of it. 
why did they I get that there might not be communication between the two of them, but there should be I mean you should you should have to submit what outfit you're gonna wear like if if you're both wearing the same I don't know. For market for like if tennis wants to market itself as a sport, it needs to have personalities and outfit and clothing and everything. And you can't have two players sponsored with the same company wearing the same outfit. It just doesn't work. <laughs> Alcaraz does consolidate the break. Two love up in this first set. We've got 111 people in the stream already. Thank you very much, guys. Um, this is the most we've had star of a stream this week so far. Oh, forehand pass from Alcaraz. Oh, that had some venom in it. That had some venom. And that was with margin. There was so much margin. <laughs> Goodness sake. Hachinov had no chance there. No chance whatsoever. We have high ranked player pick the outfit first. Other player picks something different. Wow, Milan, the, the classist Milan. <laughs> Just kidding. Double fall from Hachinov. Not going to help the mood, is it? Love 30. I forgot to say this before, but let's have some predictions. What is going to happen in this match? Forehand from Hachinov to the back end of Alcaraz. Forehand to Hachinov. Forehand of Alcaraz is a lob. The overhead from Hachinov. Forehand from Alcaraz. We're now in a rally. Somehow. Back end of Alcaraz is long. 6 2 6 3, Milan. Um, wait. <laughs> wait. 6 2 6 3, Carlitos. Says Milan. I didn't just say you're going to win Hamburg. You might win Hamburg. Who knows? <laughs> Seven five six three. Alcaraz says King adjust. Two and four says Sean. Ooh. Alcaraz in straights. Seven five six. He changed. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Which which one are you picking, King adjust? You have to. Come on here. Come on. Now we have two break points for double break already in this first set. By the way, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, trying to get to 100 likes by the end of the stream. And if you're new around here, please don't forget to subscribe. Try to get to 50,000 subscribers by uh, whenever. Thank you very much. We've already got 43 likes. Wow. On the stream. It's not even been three games yet. Thank you very much guys for the early support. <laughs> yeah, Milan e easy win versus Hachinov. Easy. And a second break point saved by Hachinov. Another backhand into the net by Alcaraz. It is deuce. I think I'll go Alcaraz in straight sets as well. Good day, everyone, says Ashley. Hello, Ashley. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Alcaraz versus Hachinov in the quarterfinals of Hamburg. A to B 500. First 500 since, of course, Queens and Halle. Devin, another member, saying, loving Hachinov's play recently. Doesn't have it today, though. Alcaraz looking lethal. I don't know about le... I mean, I guess yesterday, both, both players are very good. But, uh... He's not as, uh, I'd say, um, oh, oh, the lob from Alcaraz. I was saying he's not at his best. Maybe he is at his best. What on earth? Oh, my gosh. I mean, earlier in the year, I think, um, there was a time where it just, we're not beating Alcaraz ever. 
on a clay court. I don't know if it's uh, still the same in terms of uh, like he he would play Sitsipas, just destroy him. Those kind of matches. For one from Alcaraz, the backhand of Hachinov. Backhand Alcaraz, backhand of Hachinov. Backhand of Alcaraz, backhand of Hachinov. To the backhand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov to the backhand. Drop shot. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> he is next level, Alcaraz. Next, next level. Hachinov's already complaining. Yeah, he does. He does. Hello, Cedric. How are you doing? Uh, we got uh, Almino in the chat as well. Saying Hashnov in three. Oh, that's a bold, bold call. And if you if you predict it right, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's have a look to see. Um, well, of first in the Hamburg women's today, two results. Contivate Potapova. Contivate one straight set, 6-3-7-5. Then Bernarda Pera versus Zanevska. Bernarda Pera makes back-to-back -back finals on the clay courts. She's playing Contivate in the final. When it is on Sunday, Saturday, I don't know. As another error from Hachinov. Alcaraz gets the double break. What a start from the young Spaniard. And uh, he's only going up in this set right now. Carlos Alcaraz gets a double break. Three love up in this first set. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. Alcaraz is off to such a quick start right here. I mean... He's not missing many shots, is he? <laughs> and he's three love up in as many games. So looking back at today's matches, we had the women's um, Contivate and Bernardo Pera winning, making that final. And in the men's of Hamburg, um, we had Musetti, um, Sarundalo, Mazzetti winning against David Shakina just happened uh, on the court before this. 6-4, six, 6-3, six, very good win for Mazzetti there against Monte Carlo finalist David Shakina. Never easy on the clay course. Um, and Sarundalo also winning against Karatsev two weeks in a row in the quarterfinal. 6-3, uh, 4-6, six, 7-6. Six, six. So it'll be an interesting semi-final that one. Sarundalo, Mazzetti. Uh, I think after this match in Hamburg, um, Molchan Shorch. So, uh, interesting semi final um, matchup for whoever wins this. And um, I think Alcaraz is uh, clearly the favorite in the tournament. So, if you look at um, who's left, obviously um, Sarundalo on form, but uh, Alcaraz is a different, different beast, isn't he? I think Alcaraz is going to cause a lot of racket breaks for opponents in his career. I mean, I don't doubt that at all. Oh, yeah. Casper Rude playing right now. It's true. Forgot about that. Uh, Lexi. Um, Munar serving at 4 0. So, no, Alcaraz's final will be interesting. Yeah. Hopefully, um, if that happens. The um, Sarundalo will win his semi-final in straight sets, so then he's not too tired for the the final, you know. Because I wouldn't want a, a Alcaraz is running ragged on a tired Sarundalo. That wouldn't be fun. Maybe fun if if you like so seeing someone dominate completely. It's fun. But, uh, <laughs> By the way, this this guy's is the. The two seeded players, the last two seeded players in the draw in Hamburg. One and seven seed, the only ones left surviving. 
Hi, MQR. Welcome to the stream. Saying, hey guys, can't watch today. Hope you guys have fun. Thank you for joining us, though. And uh, thank you guys for uh, hitting the like button. We're on uh, 54 likes already. We're not even in the fourth game. We're at 54 likes. So thank you very much. Trying to get to 100 by the end of the match, which I think we can get. With the, with the progress we're making so far, we can get to 100 for sure. Alcaraz, 3015 here. So I've not done a lot of play-by-play. -play. Try and do that a bit more. Back on a Hatchinov to the back out of Alcaraz. Four under Hatchinov is just not in though, is it? And Alcaraz has a 40-15 lead. Two game points to consolidate the break and go four love up in this first set. Also in Palermo, I forgot to mention this. Cerebus Tormo is playing uh, Anna Bondar. Cerebus Tormo, uh, a breakup in the second and a setup. So, uh, yeah, Cerebus Tormo. I think she's. This is a semi final match, probably. Try to get into the final there. First serve just out from Alcaraz. Worried about Sammy's team versus Berrettini. Team will have a difficult match. Well, difficult match for both of them, I think. Uh, Berrettini, first tournament since. Uh, Queens and uh, he didn't have an easy day today either Bertini against Pedro Martinez obviously the third set may skew your opinion but uh, Martinez should have won the match he was a set up and 5-1 up serving he was serving at 5-1 he had another service point then he lost the set in the tiebreak 7-5 like, that's not normal <laughs> to go to 5-1, serving at 5-1 to losing 7-5 is ridiculous. And Alcaraz did just consolidate the break there. Four love up in this first set and looking very dominating so far. Thank you, JC. Thank you. <laughs> Be patient if Carlos does. I mean... That's, I mean, I think everyone's being patient with, people expect big things, but uh, if you're, if you, pe pe if you're a reasonable person, then you can, uh, you can see. Ashley's saying, do we have a bagel incoming? Uh, I don't know. I think Hachinov's going to hold serve here. He said that before he got to 30 love, but Gene's saying, hey everyone, how are you doing Gene? Martinez is choke of the day for sure. I watched that. I, I I didn't watch. I saw the five one lead. I'm like, and then I got myself a drink or something. I came back and it was it was five zero. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it's just <laughs> what even happened between that. And it looked like Martinez just completely crumbled mentally. So double fall from Hatchinov there. If Martinez had that in his bag, he, that was. If there was ever a surefire win, I mean, come on. 5-1 up in a tiebreak. And you have another point to get to 6-1. What is? What was he doing? What was he doing? Crazy. Crazy that happened. Like, how is that even... It's just ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, another error from Hatchinov. And maybe the hold that I thought was going to happen is uh, a bit in arms here. 30 0, Hashinov serving. Good first serve. Forehand of Hashinov. Forehand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hashinov. Alcaraz is going to get there with the backhand. Oh, he's just so in control of everything. He is in control of literally every point, is Alcaraz. And he has break point for a triple break. This is stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh no! Kasparud is facing break points for the set points. Ooh, 15 40, serving at 4 5. Yeah, Mar Martinez. What is he doing? The lob! He's made the lob! <laughs> How did he make the lob? Oh, gosh. This is brutal. Carlos Alcaraz. 
And he goes five love up. Code violation ball abuse, Mr. Hashanov. I'm not surprised. <laughs> He's produced like three lobs so far in this match. They've all been in. All been in. Goodness sake. Carlos Alcaraz. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. The triple break for Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. I should have never doubted you. I mean, you knew more than... I thought 30 love. I mean, Hashtag's going to hold here, surely. And then he did not hold serve. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alcraz is just a different. He's a menace. He's a menace. By the way, Casper Ruud has saved both set points. Fair play to Casper Ruud. Now it's a deuce. So I got respect to Casper Ruud there. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, Milan. Dutchy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What's happening to Rude? I think he's... Uh, well, he was two set points down, but now it's advantage, Casper Rude. So. Let's see. Can Alcaraz complete the bagel? Can he consolidate the break and complete the bagel? That's the question. I will keep you guys posted on Kasparud Rude Munar as uh, this match goes along as well. Second serve to the backhand of Hachinov. Been called out. Hachinov, I don't think, is sure. It is out. Oh, <laughs> this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I'm melting in the heat in my apartment. How are you, David? Um... I think it's 46 degrees where I am. <laughs> that is what the thermometer says anyway. Uh, 46 degrees. Just, I mean, s sweat. <laughs> sweat. Lots of sweat. Backhand. Hachinov to the backhand of Alcaraz. That was at the corner. Now the forehand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov. Lovely volley. Alcaraz is just toying with him. He's toying with Kachinov. I mean, he's just he's just playing points just casually. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the thermometer is... Uh, can thermometers be tapped with? Are they or uh, influenced by other things? Or uh... and it is wide from Hachinov. Alcaraz completes the beagle. He consolidates to love. It is Alcaraz. It's, it's Alcaraz's match right now. I mean, just brutal from the Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> the triple break. The oh my gosh! Just uh, what are you supposed to do if you're hatching off? What are you supposed to do? Brutal from the Spaniard. Six love the first set in like twenty-seven minutes. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos. <laughs> One unforced there in that first set for Carlos Alcaraz. One of them. Only one. One unforced there. Not, I mean, 10 winners and one unforced there. Are you serious? What the heck? What? What? <laughs> what? 
He's made like no errors this match. Alcaraz. Just ridiculous. It's also a, a game to love as well. And also the consolidation. Carlos's bakery. Bagels. Love you like I should. Yeah, one air. Wish you could play tennis like that. I remember uh, hearing a clip about Svjancic. I don't know if it was Agar Radvanska or someone saying they saw Svjancic in the practice session and she made um, no unforced errors for like 40 minutes. Made no errors playing like full passionate tennis just in a practice session. Isn't that stupid? That's like next, next level mental fortitude. Forehand goes long from Alcaraz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Devin. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. By the way, guys, uh, this match may not go on for like longer than half an hour more. So please hit that like button if you can. Might as well hit, hit it right now. Uh, we're in 64 likes. We're so close to 100 already. Just the 36 away. So please hit that like button. You could, you'd make my day. You'd make Ben and JG's day. And that's, that's the greatest gift you can give me right now. So thank you. Please do that. First serve out from Hachinov. You got to think. He does need a hold. He really needs a hold. Oh. It's a shank from Carlos Alcaraz. Big shank. And we have a break point for Kasparud at 5 all here. Can he get the break and serve for the second set and the match to get into the semifinal versus um, Ramos Vanoas or Jerry? That forehand is out from Hachinov. And it's 30 all. Yeah, well, I will I will sing again if you hit the like button. <laughs> Feel it feels like it. I mean uh, there's the break point saved. The overhead from Hachinov. Another overhead for Hachinov. Surely he makes it. He does, he does. I feel like Hachinov would literally be defaulted if he missed that overhead. He would go ballistic. But he didn't miss it. And he has game point here. Can Hachinov get his first hold on the board? By the way, Kasparud didn't uh, get any of those break points and now he's facing game point for uh, Jao Munar. So, yeah. Kasparud um, not taking his chances in this game. Forehand from Alcaraz, the back end of Hachinov. Back end of Alcaraz, back end of Hachinov. Back end of Alcaraz. And the four, and the forehand backhand, I don't know what that was. Hachinov hits it long anyway. Game points saved. And the game goes on. Munar... As held serve, and Kasparud serving to stay in the set once again, a second time. We've got 69 likes. <laughs> Let's go. Casper <laughs> can hear me. Hope not. I'm being that loud. 
You hear me all the way in Switzerland. <laughs> Advantage Hashinov. The ace is called in by the umpire. He looked at the ball mark. Forehand of Alcaraz. The forehand of Hashinov. Forehand of Alcaraz. Back on the Hashinov. Forehand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hashinov. Oh, uh, Alcaraz misses the drop shot. And Hachinov has got his first hold on the board. One love, Hachinov, in the second set. Okay. He's not going to get bageled again. It's good news. Karim. 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 Hachinov. Karim. Karim. <laughs> Put on a very croaky voice there, Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Got 130 people watching the stream. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Alcaraz just took the first set in a bagel. <laughs> Brutal. Didn't make. More than one unforced error in the entire set. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Isn't that stupid? Um, ooh. Let me think. Bread, if you score two. Hmm. Oh, a nice forehand drive volley there from Alcaraz to get to 30 love. You don't have to face adversity through this entire match so far. So, uh, be interesting to see how he could handle Hatchnob if he holds a couple of times. How he'll be able to handle it mentally. That's always the thing post bagel. Uh, how, how players can handle the other player getting back into form, you know? Hatchnob. Forgot to say hello to Cobra here. Hello, everybody. Looks like I missed the bakery. He did. Alcaraz brutalizing Hachinov in that first set. Only made one unforced error the entire set. One. One of them. Only one. Just the one. One. He made up more unforced errors than he lost games by one. <laughs> Oh, he misses that forehand. Looking a bit more uh, edgy here in this game here. Goes to 30 -0. He was not missing those shots before. <laughs> I'm back. Still going to hatch it over three. It's all part of the plan. We'll see. As I say, I don't know how Alcaraz will uh, reply to adversity in this set. Um... Because uh, post bagel, what are you supposed to do? Post bagel distress order. <laughs> oh, nice forehand there. He's not scared to go for the forehands. Even if he he just missed the last forehand and then he goes for a forehand like that. I mean, he's a brave, brave guy, Alcaraz. He'll not ever stop going for his shots. Kasparud from 40 love is now 40 30, serving at 5 6. Not ideal, really. And that goes wide. Alcaraz holds serve. 1 0. Kasparud has taken it to a tie break. Like, see, I thought, like, don't like the majority of Nadal fans, like, really love Alcaraz as well. I guess you're you're in the minority of Nadal fans then, maybe.
Goran from Alcaraz is long. 15 love Hachinov. I, I know you don't like Alcaraz, but I, I'm, I'm assuming you're in the, the minority in terms of Nadal fans. If you had a pie chart or a of a not a pie chart, what's the thing where they uh Oh, what kind of rally is this? This is good. Forehand from Hachinov. Hachinov's hitting his shots right now. Hitting his forehand powerfully. And uh, he gets the 30 love. Better from Hachinov. That forehand is really striking right now. Yin saying, love Carlos, but not Rafael. Nice volleying from Hachinov. Gets there. Gets up the court and puts that volley down the line in the backhand. Very nice there. Sliding in. Pounces on that volley. Pounces on it. When Alcaraz destroyed Otter in at uh, Wimbledon, were you like sad, Lexi? Were you like, ah, don't like it when he wins, or is it just uh, you prefer other people, or what is it? Good hold for Hachinov. He's on a bit of a roll, holding two games in a row. And no bagel, no breadstick, no bakery products in this uh, second set against Hachinov anyway. Still a chance for the breadstick against Alcaraz, but much better in this second set so far from Hachinov. Seems to have reset. This is a bit of adversity coming in. What can Alcaraz do to deal with it? That's the question. 74 likes in the stream, guys. Thank you very much. Only 26 away from that big 100. I don't think we've reached 100 on the sh on the um, on any videos this week yet. I'm not sure. I think I asked, uh, do you like hate Alcaraz and you hate it when he wins? Like, do you actively cheer against him? Is I think I think it's why I asked, or is it more of a just you're annoyed by people? People make such a big deal about him. I played the hash knob on the first game. I don't know. I feel like. I'll give it a little bit of a, a rest. I know you didn't say that. I asked. That's why I asked. <laughs> I, I asked that. I didn't say you said that. <laughs> Backhand slice. Oh, it's good from Hachinov. Forehand from Hachinov to the forehand of Alcaraz. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Alcaraz just pummeled that forehand into Hachinov. He was so far out wide and they just, boom, <laughs> on the line. Very good there. 15 love. Yeah, yeah, basically that. Forehand, I mean the backhand, sorry, of Hachinov to the forehand of Alcaraz. Forehand of Hachinov is wide, I think. It's n He's going to stop the point, yeah. Alcaraz says, says it's out. It's in. Ooh. 
I thought it was there immediately. Guys, I'm fuming. Megan's had 100 likes, and I have not. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> I don't think Megan's done a stream this uh, week. Ronan. Oh, is that in? Is that in from Hatchinov? I think it is. What a return. What a return. I see. I see. And by the way, Kasparud is two points away from the semifinals of uh, Gestad. Oh, wow. Alcaraz. Thirty fifteen, lovely forehand there. And Root has match point. Match point, Casper Root. Three of them. Oh wow. Hatching off backhands right now. The Hatchinoff backhand is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. That's two winners of the Hatchinoff backhands in this game. Boom, down the line, in the corner. Oh, wow. This is the, this is the adversity. This is the adversity. Misses the first serve. Does Alcaraz second serve here at Thurio? Second service game in a row where he's not easy. Thurio service game, two times in a row. Rude six four has another couple chances to take the match. Oh, the drop shot from Alcaraz on a Thurio point. Just when he thought. There's a little bit of pressure on him. He does that. <laughs> Boom. Just loses the other hand and hits that drop shot to perfection. That is what he does. That is what he does. Backhand of Hachinov. Can't quite make that one. He made a backhand pa uh, passing shot return from way off the court. To win one point, but he couldn't do it again. Couldn't repeat the trick. And uh, Alcaraz holds serve. Kasparud, by the way, is into the semifinals of Gestad, where he will play Ramos Vanolas or Jari. I'm assuming that'll be uh, the match next up in uh, Gestad. So, yeah. Drop shot from Hachinov. Oh. Oh, the tweener from Alcaraz. It's in. The tweener's in. And the forehand from Alcaraz. Backhand from Alcaraz. The backhand slides the hatch off to the forehand of Alcaraz. Oh. What a point. What a point. And a big, <laughs> a big celebration from uh, Hatchinov. Oh, man. What a point. From the can most of the net to the lob to the tweener um, lob to then the scrambling and then yeah i mean wow what a point what's up gary how are you doing it's out Carlos Alcaraz takes his first point on this service game. Casper Ruud making back-to-back -back semifinals. Not not back-to-back -back semifinals. I mean, is it the ah? Got confused. Get confused with Rublev. 
Backhand into the net from Hachinov. And it's 15-30. And they're clapping. They want to see Alcaraz break. I assume. Right by the, the microphone. Forehand from Alcaraz. Oh my gosh. Forehand from Alcaraz again. Oh no. Oh. The first forehand was so powerful. The second one didn't get it in the court properly. I mean, I you, you heard me like gasp at that first forehand. That, that was, I think, more than 100. Somewhere in that realm, you know? There we all here. Still a big point. Especially now on second serve. Second serve for Hachinov at there we all. Four one from Alcaraz. Four and a Hachinov. Back end of Alcaraz. Back end of Hachinov to the four end of Alcaraz. Oh, wow. He took it early. He took it in the service box, that forehand, inside out. I don't know how he got that angle on it. That was incredible. Let's see this again. Boom. Just hit it early, inside out, in the service box. It's a winner. Sets up break point. Can he get the break? Misses the first serve, does Hatchinov. Forehand of Alcaraz, the backhand of Hachinov, which goes long. Alcaraz gets the first break in the second set. Some brilliant rallies in that um, game. And uh, overall, Alcaraz finally breaks through. Ah. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that one. My, my mistake. Team guest on. Alcaraz does get the break, and he's 3-2 ahead, serving in this second set. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. And we're at 81 likes, guys. 81 likes. Only five games through the second set. We're so close to 100. Only 19 likes away. I mean a lot if we, if we get there together as a team, as a family, game to love family. What, what? Finish him, Alcaraz. You can do it, says JC. Good boy, Alcaraz. Game set match, says Todd. We'll see. We'll see. Hashinov been a, a lot more improved in the second set. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be enough even then. We'll see. We will see. Please hit that like button and I'll check back in after this game. See how many likes we have then. Thank you very much. 148 people on the stream. Thank you for joining us. It's a lovely evening of tennis. Backhand of Alcaraz. The backhand of... Oh! That was very well done by Hachinov. He got it across. He forced Alcaraz to make a hard volley, which he couldn't make on the stretch. Love 15. Nice pass there from Hachinov. First serve off the net and out. Second serve here for Alcaraz. Backhand of Alcaraz is a winner. And it's 15-0. So Diane Parry versus Arena Camelia Begu is going to start soon. Uh, it's in Palermo. And... Uh, 
Interesting match there. Sarah Rebus Tormo, the first semi finalist in that tournament. Bronsetti Garcia, another quarter final. Paulini, per, Paulini per, Parisas Diaz, another semi quarter final, sorry, in that tournament. So uh, I predicted Garcia to win the tournament, so we'll see if she does that. Oh, nice volley from Alcaraz. Hashinov's going to get there. Oh, Hachinov is besting Alcaraz right now. This is fun. Hachinov is playing very well at the net in the midcourt. I did clip the net a little bit. Nice shot. Uh, yeah. Very good there from uh, Karen Hachinov, who's threatening the break back. Pressure point here, 30 0. Four from Alcaraz. Four into Hachinov. Four into Alcaraz. Four into Hachinov. Back into Alcaraz. Hachinov's in the midcourt in here. Alcaraz still surviving. Back into Alcaraz. Backhand. Alcaraz, the forehand. Backhand of. Is that in? Is that in? I think it is in. What a backhand from Hachinov. And he's staying in these rallies now. He's staying very, very much head to head in these rallies. And Alcaraz had to run around that backhand. Didn't do enough on the approach shot. Forehand. Hachinov punishing him with that backhand down the line. Brutal. From the Russian. See here, can Hachinov get the immediate break back? Four hundred of Alcaraz, four hundred of Hachinov, four hundred of Alcaraz, back and a Hachinov. Alcaraz in the midcourt here, and he gets the forehand in the corner. He saves the break point. This is brutal hitting right now. Brutal hitting. And uh, Alcaraz coming on top of that point, saving the break point. Still on course to consolidate the break. We will see Deuce here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Vamos. First serve into the net. I beat Megan's 106 likes last Sunday. Come on, Alcaraz. <laughs> you can eat your um, hat that you don't own. That's fun. I mean, if there's ever a... If it wasn't a meaningless phrase before. <laughs> and Hachinov is angry with that. He misses the forehand. Alcaraz has a chance to consolidate the break. Hachinov was going to throw his racket against the ground, but he stops himself. Yeah. You're right, R. You're right. Let's do it, guys. Come on. We're at 85 likes. Thank you very much. Nice serve there by Alcaraz on the line. Back out of Hachinov to... Backhand, forehand of Alcaraz there, off balance into the net. Alcaraz still not in charge in the second set, I'd say. Nowhere near in charge. Very even. No one really uh, taking the, the match with the scruff of the neck in the second set. And that backhand from Hachinov is not good enough. Way into the tram line. It's not even close. And Alcaraz has another chance to consolidate the break. Another chance. Can he do it, though? Can he do it? Yeah, he is putting up a good fight. 
for one of Alcaraz. Is that in? Has he made that? That was either on the line or just wide. And I think it's in. Let's see this again. The forehand from Alcaraz. Yeah, in. Oh my gosh. The forehand is just really... It's really good, isn't it? It's a really good forehand Alcaraz has. And he gets the consolidation of the break. 4-2 up in this second set. I'm going to check some things for tomorrow. See Dominic team Berrettini head-to-head. Berrettini... Okay, I'm going to let you guys get... Don't check the head-to-head, right? But guess the Berrettini Dominic team head to head. So off the top, guess what you think it is. They've played five matches. What do you think the head to head is? Backhand of Alcaraz, forehand of Hachinov. Alcaraz drop shot, forehand. Hachinov. Oh! <laughs> Hachinov did well getting that volley deep. <laughs> But Alcaraz just pummels that forehand. Goodness sake. Let's see this again. So Hachinov sliced it deep and then <laughs> on the back foot. Alcaraz falling back. Hits that forehand passing shot. The head to head is 3 2 Berrettini. That is the that is the shock to me. 3 2 Berrettini. So ATB Cup last year, Berrettini won. 2019 ATP Finals, Berrettini won. Of course, that being Berrettini's breakout year. 2019 Vienna semi-final, team won. That was in three sets, though. Berrettini, Shanghai 2019, winning in straight sets, quarterfinal. Oh, my gosh, Alcaraz. He is on fire right now. He looks set to break and serve. For the second set of 5-2. Hitting the forehand with ridiculous power. Just controlling everything. Every rally is getting controlled. Looks like it's going to take to an hour very soon. Oh, just missed by Alcaraz. 15-40. Team's backhand is a thing of beauty. It's ridiculous. It's just, uh, I mean, watching team's backhand is a pleasure. I, I feel like uh, I should be paying team personally every time I watch his backhand. It's that good. That's out from Alcaraz. A second essential match point. Saved by Hachinov. So the thing is, so even before, so you think, Matteo Bertini's uh, breakthrough is a 2019 where he made the US Open semi-final, right? Um, like, that same year, Bertini beat him twice um, after that. And he's never lost... When when he lo- when he loses the matches, even what this was when like team was at his best, it's always in three sets or four sets in terms of Roland Garros in twenty eighteen. Team does not like that head to head whatsoever. Doesn't work for him. Oh, the passing shot, the passing shot from Karen Hachinov was thunderous. Oh. Ho, ho. Is this some good tennis we're watching right now? Really good tennis. It just, it, just, it just pinged off his racket. There's no chance for Alcaraz whatsoever. And three break points and essential match points have been saved by Hachinov. Fall on the first serve. Yeah, hopefully it goes uh, a certain way. (laughs) 
Forehand from Hachinov to the backhand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov. Backhand of Alcaraz. Backhand of Hachinov is just wide. And a fourth break point for Alcaraz here. He never lets up. Even when break points are saved, he never lets up. And a fourth chance, a fourth bite of the cherry for Carlos Alcaraz in this game. Thanks, sir. Thank you. First serve miss from Hachinov. Got 92 likes, guys. We're only eight away. Eight away from 100. Oh! Alcaraz running around the backhand. It's a forehand return winner to break, and he will serve for the match at 5-2. Carlos Alcaraz is on fire in this match. And he has the double break in the second set. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Alcaraz did win Miami. Yeah, he did. Got 93 likes. We're only seven away, guys. Only seven likes away from 100. Thank you very much. Oh, it's Mike. This Mike can actually take a day off. He is bullying. That's what it feels like. Now they're playing Blues Brothers. Swing and a miss. I want you, you, you. Do, do, do. Miami is hard course. Hard course in Miami. Sunshine Double Indian Wells, Miami in March. Both hard court tournaments. Jerry going to serve first against uh, um, Ramos Vanolas, by the way. To see who will play rude in the semifinals. I want you, you, you. <laughs> 97 likes. We're only three away from 100. Let's get there before Alcaraz serves. Come on, we can do it. 98 likes, only two away. Got 150 people watching the stream. Please hit that like button if we can. 99, only one like away. Backhand from Alcaraz, the forehand of Hachinov. There it is, 100 likes. Thank you very much, guys. 103 likes in the stream. We've hit it. And uh, Alcaraz, I think he says it's out. It is out, yeah. 15 love, Alcaraz, as we get 100 likes on the stream. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Alcaraz, I don't know what he's... Uh, I think, I know... The umpire's complaining... I mean, Hachinov's complaining about the ball mark. I think. So I think it's 15 love Alcaraz, yeah. Begu Parry has just started as well. 1-0. Begu has an early break point in the third game. Hey, can we get to 120 likes by the end of the stream? Maybe we can do that. I can. I. I, I think we can do that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lexi. <laughs> can do it without you. And that just missed from Alcaraz. Just, just missed. I mean, I have in the in the um, slams. I got like. I think 260, I think. Oh, thanks, Jeed. Thanks, Jeed. Stop. You're going to make me blush, man. <laughs> Four and a Hachinov. Backhand. Hachinov. Oh! oh! I thought for a second <laughs> Hachinov was going to do 
the forehand return to the overhead. But he didn't. 3-15. Only two points away from the match and the semi-finals of Gestad. There's match point now. 40-15, Carlos Alcaraz. Two match points for the Spaniard. <laughs> Match point. That's the that's the screenshot. <laughs> One point away. Backhand from Carlos into the net. Into the net. No. No. <laughs> uh We commented as a team for like 30 seconds before, <laughs> if that counts. She had to go somewhere and I covered the rest of the stream. Yeah, that's, that's the dream team. The dream team. <laughs> and there it is. Second match point taken by Carlos Alcaraz by another forehand. Six loves, six two. Such a dominant performance from the Spaniard. A double break in the second when it looked like Hashinov was very much into the match at that point. But, uh, wow, wow, wow. 6-love, six 6-2. Six Statement performance from Carlos Alcaraz. He is back. He is firing. And he will play... Um, so, look. Is he going to play... Molshan or Chorich in the semifinals of Hamburg. Very, very dominant performance from... Alcaraz, 6-love, six 6-2. Six 62 doesn't tell the whole story of that second set. It was pretty close. Alcaraz stepped up a gear um, when he consolidated, after he consolidated. And he takes it, 6-2 in the second, and he takes the match. He's through to the semifinals of Hamburg. Very, very dominant performance. Very, very dominant. Or what we've been used to seeing from Carlos over the last um, year or so, just maybe not a year, this year definitely, we've seen so many of these performances where he just, just puts the hammer down. The forehand is just on fire. And a well, well-deserved win for Carlos Alcaraz there. Thank you very much, guys, for the 112 likes in the stream. It means a lot. Um, 100, 112 likes as well in an hour and 21 minutes. Very short stream to reach that many likes. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, six love, six two. The last match I'm covering today. This one is, but uh, tomorrow I will cover more. Um, almost certainly Team Berrettini. So uh, make sure you have your schedules on for that. Get over to Team Berrettini. What a match that's going to be. I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining me in the stream over today's two streams. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Six love, six two to Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos.